Hey guys, this is your boy Dino aka DLP and welcome back to another video to my channel. This time I'm going to go ahead and talk about a piece of the title that's going to be an anime review to Sword Art Online Old and Old Scale. Um, and before I go on to talk about the review of this movie, I want to warn you guys that there will be spoilers. I'm going to, this video will contain spoilers. I'll be talking about stuff in the films. Uh, that does contain spoilers, so if you guys don't want to watch this video due to spoilers, then please, this is your chance to click out the video now. Uh, I don't want you guys to listen to the spoilers if you guys want to watch it by yourselves. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Before, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. Holy crap, this film was, ah, uh, this film was so good. I am not going to lie. It was so worth my, it was it was worth the money. It was worth the money to pay for it and go to watch, guys. It was... It was two hours of excitement. Two hours of heaven, if you want me to be honest. Every... There was not a single point in this film that I felt that I was bored. I did not feel bored for the whole two hours of this film. Everything, every single minute of this video, of, of this film that I watched, was not bored. Nowhere in... Nowhere in this film that did I feel like, oh, it's bored, oh, can this finish already? No, I did not feel like that. I was at the edge of my seat for the whole film. It had a really good storyline. The storyline was amazing. I felt like the storyline was really good. Um, the fight sequences were amazing. The characters in this was amazing as well. They introduced a few new characters, with one being AG. Uh, AG, and uh, AG is actually someone who was with... Uh, Arsenal in Sword Art Online and if you guys uh, watch this movie he, he explains that he's from the uh, Night of the Black Hole uh, Night of the Blood Oath, uh, Blood Oath I mean it, you know the guild that um, Arsenal was on like Night of the Blood Oath I think in SAO and he was one of those people there but it, while he was in SAO he was too scared to fight so he didn't fight but here in this it's basically this film is basically about how a new device called the AR uh, or Orgama uh, takes over the virtual reality headset, like including like uh, like SAO and stuff, because virtual reality headsets basically made dive makes you dive into virtual reality. Whereas AR in this movie basically you can get into virtual reality without you know with your conscious mind without diving into it without keeping your body unconscious in the real world and going into the virtual world uh, AR does it without you being conscious uh, without you being unconscious so you can actually use your own body in the real world it just basically changes all the environment around you in the real world into a virtual reality and you can actually play like that so it starts off with um, people hyping up so much about the AR compared to the VR, VR means virtual reality, and um, yeah, you guys should know that, And um, but yeah, and there's um, obviously everybody, all the characters we know, Lisbeth, uh, Leafa, well, it's, that's not exactly a name, but hey, um, you know, Arsena, Klein, and you know, they are all using it, because it's, it's so, people are so hyped about it, the fact that, um, you know, you don't need to dive into uh, virtual reality unconsciously in the real world to the virtual world you can just do it while you're awake in the real world so people are so hyped about it and then there's Kirito who still prefers to go in the old fashioned way because he's been in Sword Art Online for so long that he rather goes that way um, and uh, the, the f good thing about it is the fact that you can use those so the the bone so when you go into vents and fight monsters and using that AR and you win and you get bonus points, you can actually use those points to buy real products in you know products in the real world. So they can they can get points and then they can buy food from the real world like that, or they can do events and they get like free food or something like that. They show that in the movie. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Um, and then. Um, this this basic game that they're playing called Old and All Scale, uh, where it's basically like Sword Art Online, but like I said, you don't need to dive uh, fully, whereas you can just play it while being conscious uh, in the real world. And basically, it's there's a ranking system where 
it ranks you basically saying in terms of your strength and skills it ranks you and um, Kirito wasn't too into it therefore he didn't play it much and therefore he was out of shape uh, because it's in the real world so he can't really do it properly because he, he prefers the virtual world obviously by diving fully into it um, however people were like oh this is so much safer than uh, the nerve gear and all of those stuff and obviously there's going to be someone who's plotting something here so what happens is uh, if you guys just watched the movie, um, there's been there's this girl called Yuna, and Yuna is someone who comes and starts singing in the middle of an event, and when that happens, that's like you get a bonus, you get bonus points for it. And um, suddenly, people who you know, everyone, all the SAO survivors basically started getting eliminated bit one by one by this guy called Eiji. And Eiji is the guy who was in the Blood of uh, Night of the Blood Oath, in uh, Blood Oath, I mean, from SAO, and he started taking everybody out. Um, and when he takes them out, um, there's this device that they use that ends up capturing their basically the the gear that they wear to go into Ordino Skill, uh, jump into AR, uh, AR. Um, what it does is. Um, it scans their brain and uh, what you know AG and the professor who made this uh, what they do is they they start scanning up um, people who has memories of SAO and what they do is that they use a device where they capture they scan their brains for memories of any memories of SAO and they end up capturing it and what happens is when they capture that memories that those people had of SAO those people would eventually start forgetting everything they remembered about SAO so so they would eventually forget so bit by bit they would start forgetting everything they did in uh, Sword Art Online and the people they encountered and um, during this year you know more and more people st you know start having this rare uh, occurrences and then it happened to Klein and then Klein you know because basically during these event battles more and more SAO bosses started appearing in this game which was kind of weird people thought it was, an occur it was a coincidence but it wasn't and um, obviously Klein was first to get knocked out and his one is kind of like I don't know it's kind of like a gold ball that is attached to your headgear and then it just gets taken away and that's how it's kind of how, that's kind of like how your memory is stolen of SAO and um, the reason why the professor is doing this so that uh, apparently his daughter who died in SAO he wants to bring her back to life using the memories that every SAO survivor has and he's trying to resurrect her back as an AI and I was just like wow that's sad you're kind of, you're trying to resurrect your daughter and she's gonna be resurrected as an AI not an actual person and you're going that far going that far to get rid of all the memories and not only does it get rid of the memories the effect that it puts on that person when you do that not only do they forget memories but they start forgetting people as well and it can go as far as being killed they can go it can go as worse as them dying because of it as well so they brought back this they brought back the aspect of if you lose in the game you lose in real life technically not like straight away like an SAO but the effects of it would lead you to death eventually so they brought back that, that they brought back that perspective so um, I liked it the as the as the aspect of you lose in the game you eventually die in real life that they brought that back and that was interesting that made the film a lot more interesting if you get me, if if you want me to be honest and um obviously Kain got knocked out and then during a boss battle uh Arsenal got knocked out and then Kirito only find found out about these problems when Arsenal kept on asking him uh, stuff like what happened in SAO did we can you remember the first time we met in SAO and it the reasons why she was asking him is because she started forgetting stuff <coughs> stuff that happened in SAO so clearly he took her around in SAO and she said I just can't remember anything she remembers him buying the house that they lived together in the virtual world in uh, Alpha M online but they bought the house before in SAO online on Sword online and she can't remember that she can't remember that at all and as a result her brain's being affected by this and she's starting to forget things she's starting to forget more and more things every day therefore she has to write in a diary it was really bad to see 
the kind of situation she was in. And Kirito then, you know, goes, you know what, I'm going to get your memories back, Arsenal. Don't worry. Um, I've got to say, though, Arsenal and Kirito looked really cute together in this movie. They looked... I would say they're probably one of the cutest couples I've seen in anime history. If you want me to be honest, that's that's what I think. They are the cutest couples in anime history. And, um, you know, Kirito then goes in this running spree of defeating all the monsters in and all the no skill and he started ranking up higher and higher so that he can go and face the guy he keeps on knocking out the SRO survivors being Eiji and Eiji is ranked number two so if he's ranked number two then you should know that he's pretty damn good and um, ultimately once he defeat once Kirito actually defeats him he then goes you know it's too late now because uh, apparently Yuna is one of the people who's working along with this as well Apparently, they brought everyone to a live concert and they're going to use... And most of them are SAO survivors because SAO survivors did get like a free ticket to the live concert of her singing. And that's where they're going to plan on taking everybody's memories away. And once Kirito, Kirito got there, apparently the only way to defeat these guys is if Kirito and the others defeat... Uh, the uh, boss on the 100th floor of Ironcrime. So in Sword Art Online, there's the 100th floor and you have to defeat the monster on that. And apparently the AR headgear actually makes, actually dives into, makes you dive into the uh, game as well. Like, you say Link Star and your body goes unconscious in the real world as well. People, it, it's just not, not, it's just not known. Uh, like the head nerve gear, nobody, not many people know that you can do that. So, Arsenal, uh, then Kirito, Arsenal and everybody else goes into uh, the game Ironcrad and they go into the 100th floor and they go and defeat the monster. Holy crap, I've, I've got to say the final battle in this movie was beautiful. The animations, the nostalgia, um, the fight itself. Everybody joining in, so Sword Art Online characters came in, Alpha M Online characters came in, even Gun Girl Online characters came in. They all started attacking the monsters all in one go. Teamwork, everything going on here, and it was just, I was just so hyped. My my fanboy, my SAO fanboy was just was springing out, and it was just amazing to see that movie. Like I would watch this movie so many more times in the future, and I would never get bored of it. It's just that good. Oh my, it, it was amazing. Um, not only, the, so the story was amazing guys, the story was amazing. Characters had, the characters were good. The characters were really good. And um, like I said, Kirito and Asuna, they looked really cute with each other. Kirito even actually brought her a ring. Hint, hint, <laughs> proposal right there. And, you know, they talk about stuff like Kirito meeting her mum. You know, they starting to... You know, they're growing older. You can see they are older. They're much older than they were before. So, I don't know. It feels like... And, and, major spoiler. Major spoiler if you guys have watched the movie. If you guys haven't watched the movie, then please click out of this video right now. Uh, if you guys watched the movie and you went... And you guys stayed throughout the whole time... The, throughout the whole credits... They show a specific bonus scene. And that bonus scene shows... A scene that goes to show that season three, there's going to be a season three of SAO. It's all I all I saw was that a specific scene. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. You guys can watch the bonus scene yourself. You, you, I just want you to guys watch it. I don't want to spoil this part for you. Um, it shows a bonus scene, and a, and after that scene, it said SAO will return, which means either it's going to be another movie, but I doubt that. I think it's going to be a season 3. It seems like it's going to be a season 3 confirmed. Not season 3 confirmed, but season 3 coming out soon. And uh, that just gives me even more excitement. And what my question is, is the fact that I doubt it's going to be... Yeah, the season 3 is basically going to be a continuation of the movie. I doubt it's going to be like the movie itself in one whole season. I doubt that. I seriously doubt that because it did say SAO will return. So I, I am pretty sure it's going to be a sequel of the movie. Um, so overall, this was an easy 11 out of 10 movie. <laughs> yes, you heard me guys. 11 out of 10 movie. Um, amazing movie. Amazing animations. The animations was top notch. They, they, 
this this movie was so thorough when it came to his animations and stuff. They've done this so well. The storyline was amazing. Characters were really good. Um, obviously, it was slightly more focused on Arsenal and Kirito, of course, but you know, it's still good regardless. Animations was amazing. Storyline was amazing. Characters was amazing. The fight scenes are top notch. Fight scenes were top notch, especially the final fight scene against the Floor One Hundred boss. Oh my god, that was. It was so breathtaking. To me, it was breathtaking. And I know if you guys have watched it, you guys will probably think it's amazing as well. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, it's a, it's a must-watch movie. If you guys want to know if this is a good movie to watch, then hell yeah it is. It's a must-watch movie, guys. I'm telling you guys, it's a must-watch movie. You guys should watch it. So, yeah, that's it for this review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my review on this and hopefully you guys take the chance to watch this movie after my review um, I know it contains spoilers so I'm sorry if you guys watch the video uh, you know if you guys are not too bothered about the spoilers and you want to watch it yourself and you wanted to hear an opinion then here's my opinion guys watch it guys you would love the movie you will not be disappointed trust me because the thing is like the trailer came out and there were so many people shitting on SAO people are like saying SAO is so overrated and I'm like no what are you guys on about how could you say that SAO is overrated like I get okay okay I get the part where uh, season one of uh, SAO on the second on the second part of the season where it, came, it went to Alpha M online it wasn't as good as the first season but it was still good in itself season two part two so after Gun Girl online uh, I'm not gonna lie it was pretty bad um, but I wouldn't say it's pretty bad it was kind of the anime thought, okay, we'll give some attention to Arsenal because we haven't given much uh, much attention to her. So I get that fact, I get it, but obviously people were disappointed by that, and I can see why. But this movie, you will not be disappointed. Trust me, guys, you will not be disappointed. Out of 100%, I'm pretty sure 98% of the people are not going to be disappointed by it. Um, so it's a must-watch movie. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this review, guys. If you guys like this review, then smash that like button, comment and share, do all those good things so you see more content on me doing reviews like this for anime movies, anime shows in the future uh, for you guys to watch it along if you guys want to watch it and want to hear her opinion, that's fine. If you guys are new to the channel though, consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss a single video from my channel guys, whether it's gaming videos or whether it's reaction videos. So this is your boy Dino signing out and as always guys, have a nice day, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video.